Welcome back. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Our guest on this episode is a Nigerian rapper, songwriter, and performing artist who was born Daniela Napoleon Ogene and hails from Delta State, Nigeria. She studied international studies and diplomacy at the University of Benin. She is also a fashion and lifestyle entrepreneur. She draws her inspiration from the likes of Nicki Minaj, Queen Latifah, Eve, Missy Elliott, Lil Kim, and Rihanna. With a recent banging EP of eight tracks, let's make welcome Dena Pigel. <laughs> okay, oh, I like the introduction. Oh, thank you. <laughs> nice. Nappy girl. I mean, I've, since I heard you're coming on the show, I've been so curious to ask. Okay. How did you get that name, Nappy girl? It's Nappy show for Napoleon, which oh. is like my last name. So, mm -hmm. Nappy girl was like a nickname. Mm -hmm. just, it's like an Instagram handle that just stuck mm. to me because everybody just said I call you Nappy girl. It wasn't meant to be my brand name. Oh. Originally, when I first started out, I was going by the name Danny. Mm. So my first two singles, you find them released under Danny, and my first two videos, you find them released under Danny. Okay. Okay. This is like my first body of work I'm putting yeah. out under the yeah. brand name Napika. Because I, I actually, I liked the brand name. I always wanted it to be my brand name, but... You know, and it's really I was hot, skeptical. Really. Like, yeah, and it's it's you. Hot, so And I'm wondering, it's the first day of the year okay. we have you here. What's the vibe for 2020 for you? We <laughs> will eight or eight. That's the vibe. Yeah. Right, so for those, what does that mean? Wait, wait, um, wait. Before we get to that, because there's an unprintable, I mean, there's an unspeakable word in that BBL. Oh. So, uh, but before we get to that, yeah, people are seeing you all calm and collected and like you're a good girl, but they need to know that you're that <laughs> troublesome. <laughs> <laughs> Magneto wife in. Now everything she probably says she go to let me know. Yes, so now now she, she know the She know the let me so know. So tell us, um, <laughs> do you have like a space personality? Because right now I'm seeing you on your whole calm and collected. Is there is there an actual crazy side to you that made you fit into the character so much because you actually look like the crazy nappy girl in that video? So. <laughs> Is there a dual personality? Yes, too? there is. Actually, I, have, I think I have multiple personalities. And it took me a long time to figure it out. There are times mm. where I'm just, like, really calm. There are times where, like, I'm really amped up. And there are times where I'm just, mm. like, you know, midway, neither here nor there, just trying to absorb the energy in whichever scenario I find myself. So, basically, right, I'm a so practical person. I'm an entertainer. Uh, if you give me a role, I will embody it. All right, so speaking of um, the EP, BBL808, which is um, Bad Bunny's Love, we can't say what the <laughs> Little B stands love for. Love 808. Yeah, so Bad Bunny's Love. Um, bad what? Babies. Well, bad, bad Babies. babies. Okay. <laughs> so tell us about um, Bad Babies Love, the EP, and why you decided to come up with that body of work, because I think it's very intellectual listening to the EP. Yeah, it's just, um, I felt like I was in that place in my career where I needed a body of work because I needed sustenance. Putting out singles for me always, like, took me out of the scene for a long time because when I put out a single, I promote it for a beer, and then something crazy in real time takes me away because I have a business, I have a salon, so mm. that takes up a lot of my time, and I'm trying to grow a brand, mm. not just that I have a salon, I have products, I have eyelashes, I have tons of products that have not even been released. Mm. So uh, you find me always traveling, always doing some other work behind the scene. Mm. So the moment I'm not tied to a project, you find me not in the music scenery. Mm -hmm. So what I learned from doing the relationship be like is that people like to see you continuously. Yeah, mm -hmm. consistency is key. So I felt like, okay, I think I'm ready for a body of work. Plus, I never actually fancied those singles. Not like I don't like singles, but I feel like my fans couldn't really connect to me through the singles I was putting out. Mm. But putting out a body of work gives you like an, like something extra that gives you like a closer um, impression of the artist. I feel like when I listen to people's body of work, I feel closer to them because mm -hmm. I'm the kind of I'm kind of person, not just artist. I'm kind of person that when I like an artist, if I hear a song. Mm -hmm. I don't just listen to that song. If I'm getting that song, I'm probably going to get the whole project if it's a song from a project. Mm -hmm. So but when it's just a single, I'm like, okay, so th th this vibe just stays for a little bit and it's gone. But when you listen to a body of work, you find yourself falling in love with other songs mm -hmm. on the project, aside from the one that originally... And you see the diversity. Yeah. So, so what would you want people to pick from this EP when they listen? Um, the, life is serious, but not that serious. You mm -hmm. know, you can have a good time. And as a girl, as a woman... 
there's no limitation to what you can do, what you can be, what you can become. And there's nothing bad with, you know, having an alter ego. Mm -hmm. It's mm. totally okay to have an alter ego. You don't have to minimize yourself to fit into society or the environment or anything. You basically just do you, be mm -hmm. you. Because this body of work for me was like, do you know what? I'm going all out. I'm just doing my thing. I had tons of songs that didn't even make the project. At, at first, when I wanted to put out a project, I had like 13 songs after shortlisting. Because I'm a recording artist. I just mm -hmm. don't have time to promote projects. That's why I don't put them out. Because I felt like in the past, when I put out singles and I didn't really have the dedication to, you know, mm. go around and create awareness, it's like a waste of yeah. content. Yeah, so I'm a constantly recording artist. So, so you're going putting to be the, this year? Yes. Okay. okay. Yes, so, um, I'm very, very deliberate this year. As an um, upcoming artist, as the industry be for you, do you think that it has been very good for you, like the acceptance and all of that? Uh, what do you think? 50-50. Why I say 50-50 is because um, I can't judge on a scale of acceptance because a lot of people haven't even heard about me. Mm -hmm. okay. And some people may have heard, but, you know, not regularly enough for it to stick. I'm a building brand. I have to be myself to that place where, okay, I'm actually now a brand, a face people can reckon with, and then mm -hmm. they can now even have an opinion on my me as an artist mm -hmm. or my sound uh, as a rapper. So I sing as well, you know, so mm -hmm. it's just, it's, it's energies. Will you be singing or rapping for us on Tea Time? Yeah. Oh, I'll be <laughs> rapping. Okay. okay. Are you so ready? I would like you to do something. Oh, you always do. Do you freestyle? Yeah. Give me a beat. Style? You got a beat? No, we don't have a beat. We like to do a cappella. We like to do <laughs> organic out here, you know? That beat's gone. Anybody can rap on the beat right now. Okay, boy. You just, you know, have a lot of peep. Are we live? Because it's going to be like so. Of course we're live. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, so you do I'll the try to minimize. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I can't take this shit. The figures out here trying to take this shit. Gucci in a Maybach on some OG shit. Always do the cross sign. Mama told me this. Diamonds in my gold chain. Yeah, I pray for this. Mm. But I gotta stay froze on my Jesus piece. LV head to toe. Catch me in the streets. Now I'm getting paid. Hit is losing sleep. It's such a in my sleep. Getting used to this. Oh, I'm going to get getting paid. Now I'm getting paid. The natures are losing yes, sleep. Sir. I'm going to get paid to get used to this. So 2020 <laughs> is a year of losing sleep. Being the first day of the year. Um... I'm already losing sleep. You can tell, like... My head's well, all side. I didn't even have time to lay my front hour. It's like my forehead well, instead of like my head. Like. I'm sure you lost some sleep last night as well, right? No, I did not. <laughs> I did because I went to church, so. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was in church, then from the church to party after party. Okay, so did you have like, like <laughs> you know? Yeah. So the EP you're promoting is and all that. Yeah. What do we expect for the rest of the year? Okay, so I just put out a video about two weeks ago for Paper. Paper okay. is like the last track mm -hmm. on the EP. Even if it's like the oldest track on the project, or yeah, it's the last track on the EP. I shot the video in Dubai with TJ Omari, mm -hmm. boy director. Yes, yeah, so I just put the video out. So I'm promoting that right now. Okay. But I haven't decided exactly when I want to put on my next video because I have a video ready for Bless You. Bless You is the sixth song on the project mm -hmm. and it features Magneto. Okay. So we shot that already. But, you know, I'm just trying to give space for people to actually grow on people before we dish out something else. So it might come end of January. It might come before then, it might come after then. It's just it trying to, on yeah, it depends on how saying. the first one is Should going. you call yourself a female rapper or just a rapper? I'm a rapper. You don't have to put female there. All right. Um, <laughs> thank you for your time, and I wish you the best in 2020. Uh, thank you for the tea time. And that's how we wrap up this episode. Thank you for watching. And remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our content by subscribing to our YouTube channel, at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London <coughs> on Ben Television. My thank you as always to go to my co anchors, Ewa Uluwa Witu and Ife Uluwa Shukai, and the entire production team. And of course, our guest, Nappy Girl. Thank Hi. you for being here. Thank you for having me. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching and see. See you later.